Chef Sheet Tutorials. 5. Reports. In this tutorial, I will show you how to run reports and share your information using Chef Sheet. Often inventories or the data collected through inventories must be shared with an accountant. There are several ways to do this with Chef Sheet. Before we look at the reports, to touch on a feature from the first video, consider making your bookkeeper or accountant a user on ChefSheet. When an inventory has been done, you could email your bookkeeper who could log in and collect the data whenever they wish. To add your bookkeeper or to add any user, click the Settings tab and click the Add User button. To see reports from your inventory, first select the Inventory tab and then the inventory you're interested in seeing reports from. Consider using the status and archive selectors as tools to indicate to other users which inventories may be in process or be ready for reports to be run, and which are complete. The clipboard image here will generate a blank inventory which can be used for counting inventory room by room. The Category Sums report will show you your inventory totaled into your categories. You can set your categories to be the same as your restaurant uses for income and expenses, such as food, liquor, beer, wine, for example. The Category Detail Report will show your inventory as you counted it with the different unit types and totals. Notice the pager at the top. When viewing on the screen, you may need to use this button to navigate through the various pages of your inventory. The Order Report will use the PAR and Order fields and in effect uses the inventory differently than the Category Reports. Here instead of counting what we have, we have counted what we need. The report will organize your order by vendor so you can work through the report and call in your orders vendor by vendor. The report will also total the cost of the order, allowing you to see what your purchases for that day or that ordering will cost. All reports can be exported as PDF or CSV files. PDFs are good for sharing or keeping as hard copies. CSV files can be opened into Excel or another spreadsheet. CSV can be used to import data to a POS system or another software product. In the months to come, there will be ways to combine and compare inventories and other data. For the present, exporting to CSV and importing to Excel or another spreadsheet is a good way to compare and total different inventories. Remember, when you duplicate an inventory, the items, prices, item details like vendors and PARs are all copied, but the quantities and orders are removed to allow for a new count. Consider creating inventories to use for ordering produce, seafood, and alike that may contain just a few items and be used daily and creating other, much longer inventories for end of period when you must count everything in your restaurant. Create different inventories for different departments if you like, or create one inventory for the entire restaurant. All of your different inventories can be duplicated over and over and over again, and kept forever.